Hey folks, welcome back to Aloft. Just laying down, resting, kind of exhausted flying over here. I am on that island that we did last time that was so expansive. I'm on the top deck right now. Where am I at? Over here, okay. Yeah, I saw this one. We cleared this out at the end of last episode and that, that would make a great pasture area, wouldn't it? <laughs> really would. And this upper deck here for uh, a flight deck, a command center, home. We've got our own private pond down here. Yeah, I think this is quite the impressive island. We'll get back to our island and look at it through the, uh, through the, the scope and see if it's flight worthy. It'll be a, a kg, I assume that means kilograms, meaning weight underneath the islands that you can't fly. So in other words, this one's too heavy, too many kgs through there. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! <laughs> All right, let's get in here and land. So what are we looking like now? Coming nice and slow. Of course, it looked more impressive if we were sailing. All the sails were out. But that is quite the structure. Big house behind. So you can put an awful lot into this game. And it, only, it does only seem to drop the uh, frames per second when the island is flying. Otherwise, this all by itself is not overwhelming anything. I'm still running in the... Well, we got 40s there on the way up. Floating in the mid-40s now. Anyway, um, let's look at that island from here. That is not a telescope. Try that again. You are here. And <clears throat> it can be flown. So that is definitely an island variant that you can make your home and and fly it just like we're doing this one okay probably a similar size maybe a little bit bigger this one is a good sized island it's just spread out in different ways um what else is planned today well i know this gazebo was going to be part of the day's plan well i guess that's wind it sounds like rain and look how close we are to that hurricane we are right in there yeah, um, there's one thing that I discovered. Now, I can't do that from here. No. Um, build mode. Pick anything. Down there in the bottom left is the word sample. And I never figured out what that was. Until I got to, you know, at the beginning, it was like, I have no idea what that does. And you click it, and it doesn't make sense. But now that I've been in the game for a while, I click it, and suddenly my eyes are opened. You can make a copy of whatever you're aiming at. Look at that! You want to make another staircase? There it is! Snap is just pressed down on the, on the, uh, or sample, on the mouse wheel. Why the word sample? I don't know. Um, I guess you paint sample in, in, uh, Photoshop. Look at the green water. It's kind of... Is that because I'm in build mode? Okay, escape out of this. And it went away, okay. Um, yeah, so sample is another way of saying make another one of those. <laughs> so now we know how to do that, now that I'm just about done building everything. Um, I think I want to get back to a more traditional gazebo. And I can't really line these up with the pathways I mean, I could kick this further this way so that I'm lined up with this and then further this way, but I'll end up with a gazebo that's right on this corner and no way to walk around it. You have to go through it. I almost wonder if I want more of a view. Kick it over here and intentionally turn it in a way that it doesn't look like it's meant to be aimed at something and just you know messed it up, but make it intentional. But I think I'm gonna take these guys down and make a little more room in here. I do like the trees. We can plant some trees. In fact, we haven't really done that yet. We've uh, showed it once as a sample, and that was it. But we could 
do it with intention here and make something of it. Most of the time, the tree is not leaning badly. If you hit it from behind, it'll fall forward the way you're aiming. If the tree is aiming off the side of the island, there is nothing you can do to make it not fall off the island. <laughs> All right, let's grab a six and pull you out of there and you out of there. And let's pull some more soil out of this area. We'll put it all back later as it as it fits properly. And then let's go ahead and delete all of you guys. And then... At least these two trees. Maybe the third one too. So, escape and three... Grab these free, free branches here. Saw another one. There you are. Yeah, this is just going to be a, a loss here. I'll hit it over there and try to get it to fall this way. But now it didn't work. Catch this guy mid-air. Boom. Boom. Get up there. Boom. I got gotcha. you. Got you too. One more in there. Nope. Okay. That's you. Don't fall off. And catch him as he explodes. No, lost him. What do we got? You're gone too. Not quick enough. Okay. Oh, hey, get back here. Yeah, I wonder where they go. So, what is this world? Why the floating islands? Is this a planet that exploded, but not in such a way that it it decimated everything, it pulverized everything, but somehow was able to maintain some chunks whole, and they're still floating around a center, I don't know, gravitational core that's forming this hurricane. I don't know, maybe there is a, a real dense center somewhere in the center of that hurricane. I don't know. Gotta be some way that we can excuse this in regard to physics. <laughs> All right, let's get up here and see what this looks like. I think that works pretty good. We could go one more, but I think that's... Well, the current position of the island would be a nice view of the storm right there. All right, so in that case... Hmm. I'm just trying to figure out where to position the stairs. Build... Um, foundation... I could put the stairs at the diagonals. That way they won't look like... Uh, need something to snap to. You? Yeah, not quite. Let's go a little further. So, not a little further, okay. So we could put the stairs <laughs> kind of aimed that direction. Which means the other one is you know, out in that direction. But I guess that doesn't really make sense either. Hmm. Let's align you with this. So, two of you. There you go. And let's get you down a little bit so it's not so high of a climb. About, about there, I think. What's that look like out in the middle? Nope. Too far. Yeah, we maintain floor, though there's no reason for a staircase over here. Huh. Do we want a little climb? I don't know. Anyway, if we do it there, and we kick it to the back, you're aimed out this way, but you're not aimed into that guy. If I did aim it into this guy, center would be here, and you'd lose your view. Let's, just, let's keep the view centered. Okay. So if, if that's it, then you're there, and you're there, and you guys go away. If that's it. Which puts a bunch of grass meadow out in front. And it looks like it's meant to be over there intentionally for the view. That's the logic I'm going with. Um, I don't have diagonal foundations, so we'll go with you. 
and you are here. He goes that way. So we're going like so. And where are you? There you are. So let's build you first and just get a sense of, of it. that's certainly not a hammer. That's not a hammer. Five. Got it all? Got it all. Power building. Now the these guys are going to rotate no matter what. So you don't get to align the boards properly with corners. So if that's the floor, if that's the floor, hmm. Now what? There's a lot of possibilities. We could go in with what do we what happens here? I'm thinking about the diagonal. It, it's a wider span, but these are wider. Let's do this guy first, and we could do this instead of walls. So we could do something. I don't know if this is the right design. What would the other one look like? So that's got that same curve to it, and there are no other variants, so it's just that one. Okay, so that is that one. So if we put you there and rotated you over there and there. What could we do in between with the other one? Will they talk to each other? Uh, automatic. There you go. Hmm. Kind of. I mean, we just kind of manually squeeze them into each other. Any better out here? So behind those posts, let's just pop that and see what it looks like. Not bad. I unfortunately can't, although I can put a staircase out here. Maybe that will make it look kind of normal. Um, let's go to manual so I can get the diagonal. And then roll the mouse till it's down in there. Where's my snap? Right there. Right there, I think. Okay. And then drop you down to the smaller one and snap right there. So the stairs are buried at this level. But it does give us a place to set this guy on. So it kind of looks like it's supposed to be there. That's kind of a rustic looking gazebo. I like it. Though I do wish this was up a little bit higher. I do want to see at least a couple of steps. Okay, so let's make that happen. Um, how best to measure that? Um, let's see, let's go back to you. So if we made you at about that height. Okay, so let's snap you to here. That orientation. But I can't use you, so let's go over here. So that orientation. There's the sun. And down. Before I do that, is this where I want this to land? Sorry, you can't jump into a place like that. So sitting right here. I think it looks pretty good. Okay. So we're going to take it off this angle. We're going to head downhill a little bit. No, I can't do it from there. Let's do it from here. There's a log. From here. And we start to lose our elevation about there. Okay. Now I need to align it. Yeah, there is no... Unfortunately, you're, when you're moving your eyes the same as you're moving the, the item, you can't look up without moving the item. So I don't know if I'm aligned with that or not. There's probably a good height. Uh, nope, that's a little bit too low. But alignment-wise... Not bad. Okay, so a little bit higher than that and in that position. Where am I? Okay, so centered. Delete you. And up a little. Let's see what that looks like. No, that's probably where we are now. So up quite a bit more. So right in there. And we'll go up in there. There, I think that works. Okay, snap you again, and where do we actually land? 
So at that point, I can work with that. Okay. So you guys all go away. You were just the uh, the the test, the prototype. That's what I want to say. All right. Snap onto you. You and you. There. There. Okay. Now, corners. Alright. Stairs. Now, well, the final test there. What does this look like? Manual. And drop around. There we go. Snap to that point. And then smaller. Um, like that. Okay. And now we've got the railings if we want to, to put railings around this. But I'm thinking we're going to... Uh, that's the wrong one. Three. There. We're going to do this. Do we do it over here as well? Eh, we might. Like so. Don't know if there's any way to fill in the gap there. I do have another position, right? I thought I had an eighth. I guess not. I do have an eighth. That would be a sixteenth. That's an eighth there. So I don't have sixteenths. Okay. And let's put you guys in. There. And... Is there a point other than symmetry to do that? Because you're kind of walking off into nothing. Don't know. Um, one more of you. There. Snap you into there and rotate over. Okay. There's that. And it's dark. There. That's better. Um, let's get this guy built. See what the floor looks like. Three, four, five, five. Yeah. Got them all. Got them all. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. We could move it forward a little bit, and then we'd see that bottom step all the way around, but I think it gets the idea across. It's going to look odd not having any parts here, but these will be probably more like window walls or well, whatever we can come up with. Not that easy. There's only one wall that spans the, the, the longer angle there. So let's grab you, put you in, let's go back to regular automatic, so there, and E there, and E there. I don't know what happens on the back side there. And I think this was done easier from the inside. So you, spin you around again, and just touching, what is just touching? There. Yeah, I can't see both angles at the same time. Hmm. From out here? How did you rotate? Hey, dude, go back. Uh, there. I keep touching something else and go changing my angle. There we go. Yeah, I can't tell from here either. So, it's just going to be trial and error. We'll touch you there. And let's see where I am over here. Uh, off. Quite a bit. So there, and kick it into the into the post a little bit. That's pretty good. Okay, that works. What's it look like going in inward instead? Does that look funny? Hmm. Gonna have to do it from this side. I keep dropping down the hill. Stop that. Go back. Okay, as soon as I go down to that step, everything changes. I need to be further out to make that work, but I guess we can pop that in there just to see it. It does look a little backwards, but it also does give you a very different orientation. Hmm. Oh, nailed it. So, inward, it does have an interesting look to it. I mean, it's different. You would see more of the eaves out here if you did that. Hmm. Now, you guys can. I'm going to do it this way. 
So from in here, rotate you again there and touch you there and in a little bit. Okay, what's that look like? Not bad. Okay. To me, it looks like that's the way it's meant to be. Now, what happens back here? I don't really know. Um, we can play with some of these. That seems to work really well. But I can't get a circle into this side. The only thing I... Let's see. Manual. Roll. Okay. And rotate one quarter. So you are going to sit off to one side only. So what do we have in half frames that could fill that gap? That guy. And that guy. Well, we could send the curve toward the circle. What do you look like? You look like a mistake, but... <laughs> well, let's put these guys in. Yeah, can't go from this side. It's got to snag something. So it got to be there. And then back to you aiming toward... Though if I aimed away, does it help? No, because it, it completes that column there really well. So we'll flip you around like that. So we get the, the curve going into the column. It's got that little bit of help. Um, yeah. Don't know what else to do here. We could try putting one of these in. Let's just do let me try something here. You Okay, rotate you around like that and you set oh wrong way well you're kind of sitting there on your own manually oh automatic I had to move it around but manual it's snapping too interesting let's see where that snaps to it snaps outside of instead of inside of hmm so it sticks out quite a ways um, triangle. Uh, best I can do is that one. And how do you get up in here? Rotate. So that's the best that I could do as far as... Come on now. Behave right there, but I gotta roll the mouse around to there. There? As far as being able to take a piece of something like this and put you in between. Don't know that I like that at all. No, so that's a no. But what I was thinking of is by using this guy, and yeah, I need to do that man or automatically. I don't like the sticking outside. So set you to auto. Now I can move you around as... Oh, I don't get the diagonal now. Hmm. No, I guess I do. Okay. But now I can place it where I want to. And I want to... about there. Okay. And that would allow me to maybe squeeze one of these guys in between. Don't know if that's going to work or not. How about railings? So we can flip you like so. Kind of. That's not too bad. If we did that, then I think we would do... these as well. Uh, 
turn you, rotate you there, and then you there. Uh, automatic though. Okay. Automatic, flip you like that, set you into the wall. Like so. And then we could rail and everything will be consistent. You're there. And you are... There. Very persnickety, though. How did I stretch that in there? Well, I didn't... Hmm. Somehow I got the... I got it centered. And now it's going all the way to an end, whereas this one is free-floating. Maybe I, I was in there? I was in there. Okay. So we could do something like that. Eh. Not the best. Let's set you to be the same as that one. Just kind of floated in there. Well, something like that. We've got our viewing side, we've got our access side, and even that's questionable. There's another log down there. <laughs> I took a chunk out of the tree. And where was the other one? Down over here? Yeah. Okay, so with that... Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Let's see that from a distance. Okay. Now let's play with roofs. And can I get a little... What is the center point in a gazebo on the roof? Copula? Copula? Cupula? Something like that. I need some height. Um, well, let's start by putting the obvious in. And unfortunately, we only have grass. I think there are more... I think I've heard there are more roof sections planned. Just a matter of getting to full release. What am I doing here now? You go back to there. I want E. Got to be touching it. So these are the easy ones. Yeah. And could put just a square up there, but I want to play with those outside corners. So can we put a round in here? And is the right one available? Good, the sun came out just in time. So, I'm thinking you. Okay, I need to get some height. So, give me stairs. Uh, one. And sure, that'll work. Okay, from there, let's go back to roof. Get the orientation right. And then three. So that was the thought. And it does snap in. Probably the closest I'm going to get. So what are the choices are there? Flat. A slight curve. A slight incline, I mean. And that guy. Yep, I think that is our answer. So can I get up there? <laughs> Try again. Up. There. No. <laughs> Alright. Let's go higher. Where am I? Missed the tree. No. Just centrifugal force. Knock it off. Okay. Um, no, I'm not, I'm not trying a fourth time. Let's get rid of you. And put you up there. And I'll give myself a little boost. There we go. Okay. Right there. There. Not quite the gazebo shape, and it is quite a steep roof, too. 
don't think there's a shallower version of the squares. But that gets us there. Then I was thinking some kind of... Something with these guys. Could we... Do that? Not quite the shape that is meant to be here, but it fills in the gap better than just a flat. Though I wish I could have a flat and then a tinier version of this. Wait a minute. What is that over the Oh. Okay. Change of plans. You go away. You are there. And then, if I can step it into the, the halfway point, though, I don't know if I can. Um, you. There. And I need it not on the perimeter. Okay. Manual. There you are. But it won't snap. Okay. So, I guess we'll go to... Let's build this guy. Maybe that'll help. So, or maybe not. Now I can't see that other edge. Um, build you small and you're lined up straight wise. It's just a matter of finding that center point again. Yeah, I can't see a thing. I don't know where the center is now. There was a nice grid there before I did that. So let's undo that one. Where's my control Z? Oh, that was bad. <laughs> And it's raining and the sun's going away again. Okay. Let's do it. You and one and aligned and disabled. So I need to somehow look straight down and get that corner in just the right spot. And then can I snap to... Where's my dot? Right there. Uh, auto. There. I have a feeling it's going to be a few degrees off. Okay. Well, that's the closest I'm going to get. Five. Build you. And what else is going on on this roof? We got them all? We got them all. Alright, I'm going to make the sun come back one more time and We'll see uh, what this looks like. Well, what do you think? I think I want the stairs reversed down below. It's too congested over here where there's more stairs showing. Let's move the congestion over to where it's a little emptier. Otherwise, I think this looks pretty good. Pretty good for what was available. Um, actually, let's sample. Look at that. Then we can delete it, and then rotate. Um, what's going on? So, oh, because I'm on a diagonal. So, you and rotate. There. And then roll until it is there. Good. Yeah, I think that looks better. Okay, so there is our gazebo. We do have a table, which I've been waiting to put in there. So centered, like something like that. And then, hmm, it's the only chairs we have. I'm wondering if we want stools around this guy and these guys a little further out, like lounger, lounge chairs or just what? Nah, I think you need to be around the table. Okay, so you're in there. And spin you around. Somewhere in there. Now, I'm thinking... This guy isn't at the table. He's over here. And let's... Give that a try. Needs to be a little closer. Though there's not much room to get out of it. A little bit more like that. And centered? Or do we... Nah, I guess we gotta go centered. So you're about like so. Take a seat. Yeah. Oops. Not, not lay down. Seat. There we are. 
And it's cloudy. <laughs> hey, we can see the spray of the waterfall down there. So, gazebo lighting. Let's see here. Hmm. Now, if we had the the quarter instead of well, eighth squares for the flats instead of actually roofing, we do. That's right. Roofing does have that smaller size. Uh, build you roof. What I wish I had for the flooring, we don't have, but we could. Ah, interesting. Oh, it's hard to do when I'm above it. Okay, I need to be up there. I could center that guy with these. So give me a staircase and give me back up there again. Uh, three there. And E a couple of times. Something like that. So in that case, I can snap too, I think. Um, what do I want here? Grass square. Take you all the way down. And I can snap you in. Let's go back to auto. There we go. Snap you in like that. I was thinking about the lighting. So there. Alright, now we go. There, there, there. You're still smaller than those other ones, aren't you? Up, oh, up. Oh, I don't know where that one went. I have to go find him. <laughs> but this center thing here is floating in the air. Okay, let's get rid of you guys. Okay. And go back to this guy small. Will he snap in here now? He will. Wrong one. But I can now do that. He floats because there's another layer that's going to build in here. That's what's going on. Snap to you. Snap to you. Oops. Pull the trigger. Okay, we'll go there. And then cue back to there. Okay, now we can build these. Okay. It doesn't do exactly what I was hoping, though. It's too shallow. I was thinking that would be a little bit higher. Then I could sneak some kind of a light in it. Unfortunately, the light comes out the top only, not the bottom. So that doesn't work either. All he is is, uh, is some color up there. Hmm. Okay, well, for starters, we can get this guy here in the middle. And then these, if I put them at all these points here, I think that'll be enough mood lighting to get us through. And I got to thinking about the pheasant. Oh, one too many there. There we go. The pheasant pen. And where did that one square ever end up that I shot through? Little square. Little tiny frame. It's not been built. Accidentally went... Meant to go there and it shot through into... Some other place somewhere in the world. It's gone. Okay, but the pheasants are having a hard time getting into their, their place. And I'm wondering if we take the floor out and let them just walk on the ground in. That might be a, an improvement there. So there's the gazebo. Now let's put some grass back before we leave. Yep, I think so. Don't know if I want to leave a pathway or not. So if I click here, it takes it away. I gotta get over there and put grass under the stairs. Hmm. There we go. OK. 
Okay. I could do without these guys, but that looks pretty natural. Okay. So we'll call that project completed. We'll see it again at night. Now, pheasants. Never raised pheasants. I had peacocks for a little while. And... What were those other things called? Guinea hens. I had guinea hens. And back about high school. Of course, chickens. Who love to eat mice. <laughs> Um, I think that's all the feathers. So they're having a really hard time getting in here. And I think they can't get up the step or something. So if we went up here and eliminated the floor in parts of it. Let's see if we can just surgically put back certain pieces of flooring. So that's the orientation. I'm going to get rid of you guys. Get rid of the stairs. So if we put in, put you back, okay, and take you out, put you back, and you were actually a foundation, okay. Um, rotate, yeah, there. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Unless I manual you. Can I do you then? And then rotate you in. There. Now I can snap you to that point. Okay. And give me this guy to snap into that point. Alright. So you, I could then... No, here. Get rid of you. Um, put you on the floor. Though, if I'm going to do that, let's build this first, see what it looks like. Um, five. Okay. Ah, yeah, they can come in now. Okay. You have grain in you. Grab that. Let's take you away. Um, build. And new build. You're on another page already. Wow. So, get rid of you. Put you... Yeah, put you up in here. And put the... Now, I want to see if I can close that in. What's that look like? Build, I guess, wall. Take you down to this little guy. And you're on manual? Yeah, snap you to the top instead. Uh, reverse that. There we go. Snap you in there, and you in there. Let's grab a small there, there, and there. Okay, build. Somebody just made a noise like I just hit them with a the hammer somehow. Hmm. So with this now, there is a place for the people pathway and to get into the stuff. And there's a pathway for the animals that don't know what to do with a floor. Um, I wonder if that would even help in the goat pen. But let's, what am I doing here? I am making this guy and rotating you in to there at their level. And let's toss some. Why am I not getting an E? Interesting. Is there a front and back? What's going on? I can interact with you. But I can't interact with you. What happened? Okay. Let's try you. Let's see. Get rid of manuals. Let's go to auto. No, you won't snap. Okay. Let's set you down like so. I can't interact with them. What am I missing here? Let's go to one that has not been changed. And... See if the goat trough works. Nope, I can't interact with these any... Oh! There it is. 
I'm waiting for the E to show up. Like everything else in the game. This one, I just hit E without it telling me to, and it allows me to interact with it. I'm guessing that was the case back there, and I just didn't look over to the right. There it is. Okay. I thought what I was seeing was this. You know, your inventory. So I wasn't looking over there. That's odd. Well, there's eight of them, so I'll put ten in here, and let's see what happens. And then, while we're waiting to see what happens, can I very quickly put a couple of lights in here. Something like that. Somebody laid an egg. Everybody else is working their way in. This is the way the chicken coop, the, the pheasant coop, was supposed to work. Okay, we're getting excited now. Woohoo! Okay. Happy pheasants. Let's go make some happy sheep. So I'm thinking this is where the sheep go. Rather than here, too many staircases all come into this area and head down and through, and I don't want to have to cut through a pasture to do all of that. This one, though, is a pathway to here and there. Hmm. Can I? I've got staircases down there. Is there any chance that this guy is going to interact with them at all. Kind of. Now if I manual you, can I get that halfway point? No. It's because I don't have quarters. Well, okay, I do have you. Okay. Now can I back you up just a little bit? Except that door is going to be pretty low. Hmm. What happens if you put a door in that? I mean, these are clearly at least a half a foot, maybe a foot down and below. I can't, I can go through, barely. But yeah, there's a height issue. Okay. So, what do I need to do to get the height up a little bit? Build, floor, give me just a piece, and down at this level here. Okay, so you're there. I need to hit the center of that. So you're about there. Move over. You won't build in. Uh, am I on auto? There. There we go. Okay, can I go one more? I think I'm done. Okay. So from there, can I set... I need to go one more this way. Okay. So let's grab floor, make you small, delete that, put you in there. That's probably what I'm looking for now. Okay. Um, build arch. Okay. Okay, now I can see it. And I guess I need to just get rid of that guy as well. So I can see that. Now, can I build you through? Just for convenience sake. You do seem to be at that level. Okay, you're through there. And just to give me something to place this door on as a foundation. That's a little different. I didn't know I could pull that off. Now I can set you here. Kind of. I still have only those points. So at that point, I need to full disable this guy and set him like that. So if I do that, can I snap a door into this guy, even though it's not clearly not meant to be there? And I can even go through it if I hit it just right. Okay. Now, that's not the same... That is the same door I've used. Well, I, I guess I have a mixture of doors. Okay. But that's the door there. Let's... Oops. Let's end this guy. What do I want? Build. You. Get rid of you and you. And give me a little tiny staircase. 
Um, there. And then automatic and flip you around. Why are you not snapping? There we go. And drop. Um, yeah. We'll drop three of you in there. Okay. That works. In fact, three might have worked better over the gazebo rather than a two and a one. You know, a big one and a little one. That might have looked better, right? It looked more consistent. You're going to make noise every time I go through you, aren't you? Okay, so let's get rid of you and you and you. You weren't you aren't needed anymore. And that gives me an entrance there. Now, I know I need to get rid of this guy. Oh, third time's a charm there. And you. Okay. That's getting there. Let's... Now we'll keep him. But I need a doorway over here now. So, arch. And snap to you. But I want you in a little ways. Let's... Now I've got a floor in here. I think it's a full-on floor, too. Let's do you right about there. Oh, can I... Manual. Can I snap to you? I can. So we actually have a, a snapping point right there. Okay. So with that, we can't see the flooring, but we can... With it snapped in place, we'll know that... You are a half of a railing away. So, you're on manual, yeah. So, take you to small, and then rotate you through like that. And that. Okay. So, now we're into this one. We're going to rail all around it. And rail off of this guy. So, how do we deal with this? Because you, most likely, go way down into the ground. So, I can't put a floor here. Yeah, you're clear down in there. Um, I could try putting a smaller one in there. Let's see, snap you like that. Perfect. And then, what do I want? That one. And then rotate you around like that. Okay, now a floor. How do you snap to it? Where's your floor level? And how do I find that. Rotate around. Oh, there you are. So that's floor level. And it will not take it. Hmm. Okay. As far as getting a door. Of course, I'm thinking this because of what I went through here. And I needed a real door. I could just hop over this one. I don't know. It's, to me, that's looking a little funny. <laughs> All these interior doors outside. But if I were to do that... So, manual to there. You're in the right orientation. And just kind of set you manually over here? I guess so. Let's put... Let's make it consistent. Let's put a railing in first. And that, that and snap to there so maybe I can snap the door to these ah maybe that's an answer okay the big thing is just finding something to snap it to once you're once you're there some other way then it's possible yeah we can snap to these guys so swing you around Q E right there okay so, door you. Down in the dirt. Well, it does open. And the height is enough for me to go through. Okay. Looks kind of funky. Be nice to have half doors and other varieties. Um, that is a little funky, too. Yeah. I don't have time to make that one perfect. <laughs> Let's put some rails in. Actually, no. 
what do we have in the way of a house? The angle's too difficult to deal with here. So I think it's here. So with these guys have been able to walk in a little bit better. Let's find out. Um, you and half of you. Let's just watch the uh, the parade here. Okay, what you gonna do? You're having a little trouble. You made it. Okay, they're yeah they're they're pulling it off. Okay, let's while I'm here, let's shear. All right, so there's a llama right there. Let's put you back down. Let's shear you. There we go. And where's a sheep? I think he's right there. And he's happy now. Let's shear you. Nope, you're not happy. Let's feed you. Feed is hold. There. Dude, I'm over here. But I'll, I'll take your wool anyway. All right, so they can handle a step if it's really, really low. Oh, almost missed it. In fact, you, there's not enough for you. So let's put some more in here. Uh, e. Okay, put some over here. Some of them didn't get any. There we go. Okay, have fun. So a similar kind of structure between those trees. I think that is the answer. Give me a foundation. And go to automatic. Hmm. No, we're just going to have to go with floors. If I'm going to get down low. So low means what? And orientation is about like that. Low means... About there. You, you, and there is another layer of wood that shows up on this. So, come on. There. So it looks like it's all grass. Actually, I should have pulled the grass out. Yeah, let's do that. Um, delete. And six. That's fine there. We'll pull it out to the sides as well and put it back if we want to. Okay. So there's just too wide and too deep. Let's see what that looks like. We don't need much. Don't need as much as the other one had. That was a a major entrance. You know, that's that's the end of the gangplank. Though I do kind of wish I was a little further over, but I have to build into the into the trees. So I think it's all I'm going to get there. Um, any reason to go deeper? Any reason to kick it further back? Probably not. I think it's going to work fine for what we're doing. I need a seven. Let's clear you guys out, and you, and you. Turn all that into hay. Okay, so walls, and what kind of walls? Let's get some natural lighting in here, or do we want it closed off for warmth? Hmm, let's see what the natural lighting looks like. So a couple of you, and flip you around. Let's see, just the back wall? Let's try just the back wall. And we'll put in three right, real walls on the rest of it. Okay. Build windows. That's the outside. There we go. Okay. Now do we want more height? Let's get stairs in so we know that we can get in and they can get in. Where are you? 
Not going to do it, are you? Nope. Okay. Manual and roll the mouse over. So there's a way. Oh, you're saying it's not buildable. Clicking and nothing's happening. Bummer. Well, I can get on, so I think they can get on. So let's do something like... I don't want just a box. So let's pop you... Uh, automatic there. Like so, but the reverse of that. Like that. Uh, one square, though. One... Half a wall high. And you don't have an inside or outside. So if we took the half wall and ran you through there and then you go there and you go there that gives us a I'm going to pull out a little bit of interest okay um we could even go back down here you know let's do that let's do that another triangle Okay, so in that case, it is reverse and small. There, there, and another half wall. There. A little bit more of a barn roof. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Let's build all of that. Okay, now can I roof that? I think all the pieces exist. So flip you to there and make you small. Gonna have to. Hmm. Like to have eaves. Too bad I can't get this guy to just go halfway. Um, no. It's, it goes from that corner up or that corner down. I can't just straddle it. Okay, so you're there. Um, eaves here looks like that, though another half eve out this thing is going to block the light. Yeah, that look kind of like you're seeing right there. Let's try that. Uh, take you down one more notch. I can snap there. So it look like that. I think I can make that work. Are you in the right place? I don't think you are. Now, can I go th there? No. So I can't do you from inside. Myself. I had it for a second there. There it is. Okay. So there's a half eve over there. We're not going to get that over here. We're not going to be able to walk in. Though we might be able to... Well, let's get this in here. So you flip around. Make you small. Go there. And you're out over here. I could do the, the little half ones here too. But it'd be a, a whole bunch of itty bitty little ones. Ah, uh, yeah, I think so. I think it would look better. So take you down to there and there. So you're like this. That one. There. And same thing over here. Where's the spot? There. Like that. You're there somewhere. There you are. Actually, it should be three of them. There and there. Okay. One more. So grab the sight of you. <laughs> I thought I was going to my doom. Okay, so there, there, and that one. Then flat, I need a, that one, there, there, four of those. And then a full one. 
there and there. Okay. And now wall-wise, what do we do? Do we have an official opening straddling the center? That's possible. We could do this. There and there. And then some kind of this. Though they're not going to be able to walk in and out. Why don't you fit? If I, oh, if I go there. But the sheep won't be able to do anything with that. Unless I just leave it open. If I do that, can I walk through that? I can. No doors. Okay, that works. Build you. And Eve's on just this part. You take you... Actually, you can be that size here. There. There. And then take you down for there. There. That looks kind of funny, but I won't be able to go under the eaves. I'll hit. So I'm stuck there. Can I make that jump? I can. Alright, got all of you. Didn't get you guys, though. Got all of you. Missed this area. Okay. So there's a little barn-like shed-like structure I think it will do the job nicely let's get some railing out here now oh we have another entrance <laughs> we do um four doors heading into this thing wow you can be in a place like that you can even be come on give me a midpoint no, nope. okay. You can be further back. We can get rid of one of these. Although that does walk on really nice. Okay, we'll go right there. And doors in you. There. And railings. So you... Let's see. I want to snap in from there. And you're going up in the air now, aren't you? Okay. I think you'll be fine. So let's take you down manual, rotate you in one click, one. How much room? We're getting a little high here now. I guess I can pop one in down below. I didn't think about that before. That would actually look pretty good. So you, let's do. Hmm. Nope, don't think so. Take you back. Go back there. And then from there, kick in. That's better. But I could roll this guy down underneath. He's not wanting to snap below. I probably have to be under there looking up to make that snap. I think I do. We can get you in here, though. Something like that. Okay. Here, I think it's like this. Uh, go back to you and flip you around. You just attach right there. Actually, no. You go away. You attach here. Yeah. Just throw you right into there. And we'll span across this one. That looks pretty good. Good enough to hold them in. So same thing here to where? To the tree or to the ground? Let's head off in that direction. So if I do you, where do you end up? You end up out there. Let's send you back one click. And snap you into there. Nope, you're not going to do any good. But I can get on top of you. So roll the mouse once. No, he does not snap to it. That's a shame. Yeah, 
Oh, wait, wait. Something tried to. If I look at that point... That kind of works. Hmm. Yeah, that one's a little off. Okay, so we're going to come through here. This side, so you go all the way back around and click over there. Let's come do the same thing over here. We're trying to leave those bushes. So roll around so I can touch that corner. Touch that one. Yeah, we'll leave the bushes so it looks natural. Snap you to there. And then snap you and spin you to there. You're not too far off the ground. I may go back in and try to manually work these guys down into the ground later. But I'm pretty sure I'm well into that one hour mark already. And another long episode. So let's put you like so. Yeah. And like so. And then let's put a big one like so. There. And then rotate you like that and that. And I think that will do for now. So are we sealed up enough? We're enough to bring them over. After the episode, I need to double up on some of these and sink some further into the ground and... A lot of fine-tuning that takes a lot of time. But let's go grab a couple of, of occupants. And we'll see what they think. Okay, there's, there's a bunch of goats in here. Yep, yep. We have a lot of goats. But let's pick up Nolan. Bring you back. Bring you to your new home. And I think I have enough hay left on me to fill up the feeder. And since it's just the two of them, they should actually... The feed should last for quite a while. Alright, so you are in here. There's your new digs. Let's go get your buddy. So I haven't actually seen sheep or alpaca anywhere else in the game. Except for rescuing these guys. So they're not as common. All right, where is a Robert? There you are. And you're ready to shear again. Cool. I wonder if, they sh if they're if they shearable after every meal. I wonder if that's the trigger plus a little bit of time. Makes sense. You take care of them and you can shear them. Let's eight. I do have it. Thank you. And thank you. Okay, let's make you a food trough inside though I don't think you're hungry at the moment there's that um, right in the center right there okay and let's drop in some now well, half of that that leaves me a little bit available are you hungry you started to move but I think it's just random yeah Pick up and pet, pick up and pet, so they don't need to be fed. So, question is, when I log in next time, will they be in the pen? <laughs> or will they be back over there trying to get into the goat pen where the food is? Don't know. I do want to see the gazebo at night. See how the lighting goes. And I guess we'll kill another few seconds here. Let's put some lights in here. So, you guys there, and let's go to these these low ones seem to put off some pretty good light put you at that point at that point and where under the windows that looks pretty good here get dark there's enough light in here to be able to figure things out more eggs come on let me in here and let's go see the gazebo Wow, look at that skyscape. Look at that. Our gazebo. Sit out here. Yep. Watch the storm spin. Life is good.
catch you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.